At this testing ground in Rockingham, proved positive that green technologies mean business. This go-kart contains the world's most advanced lithium battery, which doesn't emit fumes and is virtually noise-free. Also being put through its paces is a new type of electric car. But Formula One's priority is surely speed, not the environment. So is its interest in green technology just a token gesture? In racing, no one really takes much notice at the moment, but with everything else that's going on, people are having to take more and more notice. And I think unless things change in motor racing, then it won't be around in the future. Formula One, though, has traditionally owed its allegiance to the oil companies. And if green technology wants to keep driving the pace of change, it'll have to convince Formula One that going green doesn't mean slowing down. Victoria Gatenby, Sky News. Well, with me is Gordon Foates, who's director of Green Motorsport. Good to see you this morning. It all sounds fairly exciting. It looks pretty good. So yeah, from my fantastic. perspective, is, is it really going to take off? Absolutely, 100%. This has to take off. We need another way. We need another way of reducing emissions in motorsport, and that's what we aim to do. But do you need another way to do it? Because uh, the big companies don't seem that bothered at this time. Well, it's just a matter of time when the weather starts changing and people start kicking up a fuss about environmental issues, climate change, then I think they might just change their mind. How do all these things operate? I mean, because the one problem we've seen with these things in the past is that they're not always, you know, as efficient, as, as they don't have the same power performance as, as our carbon unfriendly alternatives. Well, our cart is certainly achieve, can, can certainly give you the performance. It does 0 to 60 in under four seconds with a top speed of over 100 miles an hour. Now, quite frankly, I find that fine. I don't see a problem with electric cars and alternative fuels for the future. Now, Formula One, we know, have expressed a, an interest in, in this eco car. What sort of interest are we talking about? I mean, what are they actually saying? Well, predominantly, I think they're interested in the materials they use to build the car. This was the hemp and... and That's right, starch. the alternative materials. Um, rather than using things like mild steel or Kevlar or things like that, which take a lot of energy to make, things like hemp are very, very you know, easy to make and less, more energy efficient to make. Because when we, when we talk about anything being eco-friendly when it comes to, to cars, never mind racing cars, we don't really think about what they're built of. We do seem to concentrate on, on the fuel more than anything else. I think it's very important to look at the whole procedure, the, whole, the, the bigger picture of uh, making or manufacturing anything, powering anything. First of all, you need energy, and you need to find out where you can find that energy and how to produce that energy in a sustainable way. How then, once you've had all this worked out and say it all seems to be working fine on the ground there and going at one heck of a lick, how do you get this into the mainstream? Or is it simply just the, the pressure that people are now being placed under because of the, the way that, that people's views are changing when it comes to the environment? Well, I think motorsport is a perfect testing ground for these new technologies. I think we have an, a golden opportunity now to test new technologies in green motorsport to provide the answers for the automotive industry. So we basically move away from fossil fuels. One last word. Um, Ross Kerner, the, the young racing driver, was yep, in that Ross. report. Young as he is, all right for some. Um, how important is it that you have these people who are young and have that, still have that ambition to move forward in, in their career, but also do it in a more environmentally friendly way? Could they be the driving force in all of this? Well, I think. Ross and many like Ross are certainly people of the future and we need to basically attack that area and get them geared up for the future. Um, we're working with the stars of tomorrow, the BRDC stars of tomorrow and they run uh, a number of kids in carts and we're planning an electric racing series with them to identify new technologies. All sounds good stuff. Yeah. Golden Foat from Green Motorsport. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much. Lots of emails coming through this morning. Helen? We certainly have. Uh, you've been uh, emailing us with lots of uh, thoughts, uh, mainly on the return of the British Navy personnel.